Mr. Andrews has built a fine vessel. It is not the fastest, but it is indeed the most luxurious. The man you see as the captain is really an actor, Lowell Lytle. He portrays the captain at Titanic exhibits. Hello, Branson people. How are you? Do we have a captain on board? Yes, sir, there is. Oh, my God. I am going to christen this ship, the Titanic, for a smooth sail in the city of Branson, Missouri. Oh, it's official. The Titanic is the christened. The real captain, E.J. Smith, went down with his ship right here. I believe to be on the actual location where it went down could be a very emotional experience for me. Now the actor gets ready for the ultimate research for his role, to go down in a tiny sub to where the captain went on an adventure of a lifetime to bring up pieces of the Titanic. I could not conceive of any vital disaster happening to this vessel. Modern shipbuilding has gone beyond that. That speech that I just gave you word for word was the last speech the captain ever gave. And I stayed focused on picking up artifacts and not get emotionally involved for about an hour. But when you see a shoe and you see a hat and you realize what took place, everything scattered all over and 1,500 lives went into eternity that quick. And I opened the door, and the men went over, and they hugged their wives, and the <laughs> women were crying. <laughs> they got their money's worth. <laughs> that one lad could have been more than four, maybe five at the most. Came up to me while I was on the bridge there in the exhibit. The mother said, you want to shake the captain's hand? And he nodded his head. He came up. He shook my hand. She says, can you find his picture over in the wall? He walked over. And all the officers pointed, looked at me, looked back. He looked at me and he said, did you die? <laughs> I said, yes. He came over and wrapped his two little thin arms around my legs. And he said, I love you. And I'm going to miss you. And he said, I'll see you at the cemetery. People that were, had great plans, and when they got to New York, everything's going to be wonderful. We never know, do we? We're not going to last forever. Make sure you tell your loved one on a day-to-day -day basis how much you love them. Thank you very much.